am growing a different variety of edible seed every day for 100 days. Today is day 19, and I'm growing another variety of potato. Now, you know how you can get determinate or indeterminate tomatoes? Same with potatoes. A really good choice if you want to have potatoes, but you don't have a lot of room, can't keep hilling them up, you want to put them in a pot, go with the determinate varieties. These are called red Pontiac. I've got 11 of them, so I need 11 bags. I've got my bag ready, all rolled down. Put the soil in it, which I have already amended it with fertilizer. The red Pontiacs will grow to be about two to three feet tall. I'm going to cover this potato with about four inches of soil, and the potato will develop its tubers in that layer. And these red Pontiacs tend to store really well for us. They generally also have a smaller yield. So if you see people growing giant put yields of potatoes, they're probably growing in indeterminate. As an indeterminate variety grows, you want to keep piling soil, straw, something on top of it, and just let the top of it poke out. Bag allows for the potato to keep growing, and then every layer that we cover up can have more potatoes. We finally get this bag unrolled. It's got a couple feet that we have been layering, and each of those layers will have more potatoes. Whereas the determinate varieties, like these red Pontiacs I'm planting, just develops its potatoes in that first layer of soil. The plant's only a couple, three feet tall. They're actually gorgeous plants. They make beautiful landscape plants. Plus you get food, edible landscaping. Here they are, all ready to grow. Either variety, it's important to keep them mulch so none of the potatoes end up sticking out of the soil. Sun will turn them green and the green potatoes are really not good for you to eat. But you can use them for seed potatoes later.